iPod. I'll oh. just give it a boyfriend. Hi. Hey, what are you guys doing? Nothing. We're dividing up all her stuff, guys. So, because she's like, you know. You know, just in case something does happen to you on skydiving, you have someone to look after your things. Oh. oh. And if I do come back, does that mean that I get all of your stuff? Uh, you can yeah. try. All right, all right deal. deal. All right, okay. CDs. Credit card, man. Credit card. Credit card. Oh, I think her boyfriend's got that, so that'll have to go to court. <laughs> Sports. If you're keen to skydive, you can rock up to any drop zone, pay the money, strap yourself to some hunky guy, and off you go. But what happens if you want to take it more seriously? Where do you go if you want to take up skydiving as a sport? Well, we're here at the Auckland Aviation Sports Club to find out. Everyone, meet Tim Fastenage, president of the Auckland Skydiving Club. Now, Tim, what makes your skydiving different to commercial skydiving? There are some nine different disciplines, and that includes things like formation skydiving, where we have teams of, of four, eight, or 16. And then there are canopy events, uh, accuracy events, or with the very fast, high-performance parachutes, there's canopy piloting which is a, a, a very fast landing procedure. And then there are artistic events, freestyle skydiving, free fly. How many people would be involved in sport skydiving in New Zealand? There's probably around 700 active jumpers. There are national competitions every year. And then from national competitions, uh, winners of the open class represent the country at international competition. Reassure me here, how safe is skydiving nowadays? Statistically, you're more likely to get hurt going fishing. What do people need to do if they want to get involved in sports skydiving? There's a couple of different training courses that we do. The static line course, and that involves you wearing your own rig, and you have a static line that's connected to a hard fixing point in the aircraft. That will open your parachute for you. And after the classroom training, which is um, about four to five hours, gear you up and take you for a skydive. Well, I'm ready. Do you reckon I could jump into one of your courses? Well, we have a slot waiting for you right now. Right now? I'd better go then. And there's the steering lines coming to the back of the parachute. Okay, we'll let that back down again. Yes, should get right out there. Don't be too afraid. Okay. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, yeah. check. Everyone, this is Kingy, competitive skydiver. So what happens in a competition? I compete in four-way skydiving, so it's four-way formation. So with three other people? Yep, with three other people. And then our fifth person's a camera guy. You exit the aircraft, you've got 35 seconds. So it's as many as you can build in 35 seconds from the exit. And how often would you have to practice for something like that? It's good to get everyone together and have like a big camp, go out for a few weeks of jumping. Otherwise, just most weekends, go out with your friends. It's a way to probably bond, hey? Just <laughs> different team, team bonding. bonding. Yeah, yeah, hard out. Thanks for talking to us. Good. Hope you have fun with your jump. I know, I'm freaking out. <laughs> These are the club rooms. The DZ we're going to be landing is in this area around here. The winds coming in this direction. Okay, so you guys are going to be getting out over top of Fenerpoi. Then you went back this way. There are some clear paddocks, but there are also glass houses and, and it's, it's road down there, so you've got the power line. So just don't go past the target and you won't get yourself in trouble. Ready. I'm freaking out and I can't believe we're actually doing this. Looking good, number two. You're in a good position. Just keep holding that heading, flying in that direction, and you'll see Tam circling around below and to your left. Oh, my God. Toggles up, stop turning, come back left. Come left, prepare for landing, keep yourself facing into wind. Wait for it, wait for it, and flare, flare, flare. Oh. <laughs> let go the left toggle, let go the left toggle. <laughs> oh, my God. That is such an amazing experience. You just feel like nothing else in the world matters. Everyone should do this, you should go to the website. Oh, and I'm just glad to be back on land again. Oh my gosh. I don't think he's like, go! And I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> go! And then I didn't even do it right, I didn't speak. 
But you get it. Yeah. And then you're just dangling and it doesn't even feel like you're falling. And you look at your watch and it's going, yeah. <sighs> <sighs> And your stuff is all mine. Laters. Catch this program again. It's available to view at tv3.co.nz.